Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. I'm bringing you another MOP beta duels. Um, this video is just going to have more of the same. More duels, checking out class mechanics and seeing what warriors can do against them. Um, I'm still getting a feel for monks and stuff, but uh, like I said in the last video, um, Zen Sphere is one of the biggest things you're going to have to be focused on, although recently it did get a nerf. This was before the nerf where it still did a bunch of damage and a bunch of healing. And my main goal was to try to keep Zen Sphere off of them using my blanket interrupts and my stuns and stuff. This is pretty much how um, a duel with a monk must go. You gotta have all your cooldowns, blow them up, prevent them from doing anything. Shadow Priest, I've noticed that, uh, especially I've been dueling Maladaptive, this one Shadow Priest quite a bit. 2400 on live, very good Shadow Priest. So it can help me learn a lot about the class and get a lot of practice in dueling them. So against Shadow Priest, of course, it's gonna be nice to have all of your cooldowns up like this duel. You know, a lot of duels, you don't, you're just gonna keep dueling and dueling and then Somebody's gonna have certain cooldowns, somebody's not gonna have certain cooldowns, and it's just gonna be getting a feel for the class, but man, like, I feel like I did okay this match, and like, just no matter what, you know, and just got bursted down, so... I really have to make a dedicated focus to not letting them do anything, and I mean it. Like, against this mage, I'm gonna be doing something like that, too, where you must have, you know, some sort of either a silence or a reflect or a stun, charge, stun, fear up at all times. It's not a joke. I mean, class... Your caster classes really don't have to cast much of anything. Um, you can see the mage running and casting these spells in this game, but I mean, I found a, a lot of times these guys don't even have to cast very much. They can just, you know, throw off instants and do just fine. I am able to get his cauterize here, and since I'm controlling him so well, the mage doesn't really have a lot he can do against me, just in this match. And you know, keep in mind, you know, that cer certain mages that, you know, they're all getting, they're getting feels for their new classes, and people aren't going to be the absolute best that they always are because I mean like for me like the first time I do a class I'm going to suck probably like, I have a lot of learning to do I'm, I'm not you know just like a naturally incredible player I have to do a lot of learning a lot of feeling out and see what other classes have and to figure out what I can do against them so that's one of the things that I do enjoy about MMP beta is the chance to get a feel for their classes through dueling I do wish that we could do more battlegrounds and arena and stuff but uh maybe maybe pretty soon more people hit level 90 and we'll get a chance to do that so Against the Hunter, I mean, the Hunter duels are very similar to what you would expect and what you're used to on live. Just, you know, do your best to use your mobility skills to stay in range of them. You can, if you can get a fear on their pet, that's great. Just be advised, just be aware that you're going to be sitting in traps, and then when you're kept at range with no way of getting to them, that's probably a good time to start popping some defensive cooldowns. Um, I just trinket right here at the end to make sure I get this execute and score the kill, because I'm running out of things I can do against him. Um... I think my main thing to tell you guys is more about these casters, and I, I I cannot tell you enough. I know I'm just sort of reiterating constantly how important it is to keep them in a stun. So I missed my shockwave, so I'm already like, well, fuck, I lost. Um, this little mind bender guy. It's a good idea to fear those, and I'm gonna show you something later on in this arena. I mean, in this uh, this duels video uh, about their psi fiend. That thing sucks. So I'm able to get a lot of pressure out early. And I'm sort of layering my spell reflects, layering my silence as best I can. I mean, it's all it's all a matter of practice. But whenever you have something up, you pretty much got to use it. So I'm popping my shield wall. Luckily for me, I have a lot of cooldowns here. He uses his uh, little vanish again to try to get some heals off. I throw up my spell reflect just just in case he decides to try to shadow or death me rather than healing. Things are getting pretty dicey here. I don't have very very many defensive cooldowns left. Um, I'm relying on my uh, self healing with mortal strike and second wind. And he's deathing, and I'm executing, and I get the lucky, you know. My global is up before his. He would have killed me the next global, just like I killed him in that next global. So, man, these duels are pretty tight. But, um, the best thing you can do is just layer all of your... Yeah, like, I'm just showing, like, man, I just took everything I had to kill him. I'm like, going over my tooltips right now. I'm like, man, it's pretty tough. But I do appreciate Maladaptive, you know, hanging in there with me and letting me duel him a lot. So, what I generally do is I throw up a spell reflect at the beginning of the duel when they're about to come out of the stealth. And hopefully I catch one of their dots just to keep it off of me. Because if you can keep Shadow Word Pain off of you, it makes sure so they don't get um, a chance to get their instant mi uh, mind blasts quite as early. Um, but of course, you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna do anything against the dots. So the reason I finally understood what, the, what he was telling, trying to tell me about this Siphine. Um, you definitely want to save your Zerker Rage for the Siphine. Because all the Siphine does is fear constantly. So if you trinket the Siphine fear, you will be immediately put in another fear. So if you're gonna train, if you're gonna, you know, try to use your Zerker Rage on the first sphere, the better thing to do is to trinket the first sphere, and then save your Zerker Rage for the Siphine fear. At least that's the strategy that uh, Maladaptive uses. I'm not sure if all Shadow Priests are gonna play the same way. That's what Maladaptive did. 
and I finally understood what he was trying to tell me, because he was just telling me, he's like, trinket the first sphere, and I was like, why? Like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but, he never told me why. So I should finally figured it out after all these duels, and that's what I mean, like, sometimes it takes a while for me to learn these things. But, one of the things that I definitely didn't take a lot of learning on is just the constant layering of your, of your CC, and uh, putting up Speller Flex when you don't have CC available. That's probably the best thing I can suggest to you for dueling casters. Um, so this is what I mean. Right there. The trinket this one, and watch, I immediately go into a second fear. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I understood. <laughs> so, you can stun the Siphene, you can try to fear it. But you definitely want to fear them. I, I like to fear the little Mindbender, or the little uh, Shadow Fiend. Just to keep that little guy off of you, because it does hit for you for about 50k. So, these duels, I mean, I'm not as, I'm not like Swifty so much, where I develop like a like a pattern where I develop like a you know a formula for defeating these classes um, because I, I often just you know it's things aren't quite I find as standardized as that but I mean Swifty style is definitely helpful for learning but for me I sort of just rely on my my skills as a warrior you know you just, you just practice your warrior you get a feel for what you've got and perhaps I could be more helpful in the future with these dual videos but you know these are just my first dual videos, so I'm just trying to let you guys know what they've got and show you some dual footage from MOP Beta. Um, this is a duel against the uh, Elemental Shaman, um, which is pretty good because they can't really get away from you very much, they can't really CC you very much, so if you can get on top of them, um, you're going to make them have a bad day. Just a big ass execute clip for you. <laughs> With all the cooldowns pop, Warriors are pretty pretty formidable. To say the least. I don't think we're overpowered, but we're definitely in good shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for uh, tolerating my newbie dual commentary. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, guys. Peace.